works that way. So the beginning of this is my campaign started uh, April 1st, 2011, when my house was damaged. I've been part of five and a half years. We've been hugely successful. And when people say you can't take on a government and win, we are winning. When they get to the point where the bribe of the community is £10,000, you've won. No, so basically, making our way down to London here was uh, to really offer £10,000 cheque to, uh, well I call her a Maggie May, but she's Theresa May of course, our new Prime Minister, because she's now trying to bribe the communities to, uh, to uh, accept fracking. And she was going to put the, the £10,000 directly into your account. Mm. You know, it, 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 it's a government that's lost direction, it's a government that's run out of ideas and they're totally being run by the fossil fuel industry. And all we've done so far is use all the evidence, the scientists, the experts, uh, to get us to the point now where we're, we're on a winning roll and I think we can actually end it this year. But the legal challenge that we're working on now at the moment uh, fighting on human rights. This has become apparent as time's gone on because they're actually dismantling democracy to force fracking through. Uh, there's a democratic decision in Lancashire uh, in June last year when the council, the, the planning committee, were actually told it would be unlawful for them to turn down the application of Preston New Road and Rosica. So I've just got my interest in fracking, just so I don't think it should happen. Thank you, Tom. Well, I'm Emily Shirley, I'm from East Kent, and uh, I've been campaigning on uh, environmental issues for some time, but I've been involved with Gaza and uh, the fracking for about, uh, well, I've been involved with fracking for about three years now. It's part of the problem. I'm Gaza Pratman, and I just want to strangle the whole industry. Mm. Cut the legs out with the uh, letter of notice, and then cut the head off mm. with a legal challenge. And like I said, we're way ahead of, I think, of where we, where we should be. Thank, thank God for the earthquake. Hi, uh, my name's Delia. I'm from uh, Warminster in Wiltshire. Um, I'm with Keep Wiltshire Frack Free, and we've just had some really fantastic news, and that is that um, our county is not going to be fracked now. Yay! <laughs> thank you. I'm Simon from Paul in Dorset and I'm uh, campaigning against uh, the first gas rig which is due to go in at a nearby place uh, to us, uh, Swanage. So uh, campaigning to stop that happening uh, and the other fracking rigs that are uh, due to be rolled out in, in Dorset over the, uh, in the near future. So um, yeah, definitely opposed to that. I want to stop pollution happening. And Black, the Blackpool decision is probably the first decision that is going to show the government's real intentions about imposing fracking around the country. And so we're, we're going in on human rights grounds um, and we're going in on climate change. Um, and that's what we're doing. So the letter today was really to say to the government, right, if you, if you don't, you know, if, if you carry on like this, we're going to go to court, we're going to fight you all the way. We don't know how, how long it takes, but we're going to do it. Um, and so that's what we're doing today. But we, you know, we haven't had the decision yet, but we have to start before the decision because you only have six weeks to challenge uh, to actually raise the money. So is the fact that we've got so compliant now that people don't, they're not ready to just take to the streets. Like in the old days, they'd go right, oh, you're doing, you know, poll tax, take to the streets right away. They're not doing that now. And I think the, the, the reason it's, you know, we're, that we're peaceful, we're doing everything lawful, everything by the book, I think that's something that they cannot comprehend, they can't cope with. You know, when you've got, uh, Boris Johnson's got six water cannons there. They were ready for it last summer. Well, they've not summer before. Well, you didn't know about it summer before, did he? What I was saying to you, but is is the fact that on every level that we, we've been winning, it's always been with with the scientists, with the education. They have been the aggressors. They have been the ones that say we're, we're lying and scaremongering. You know what I mean? So I, I think that this, the, the, the fracking, and I've said it from day one, is it, it's going to be a catalyst for real change in this country. And it may even end the Tory party. 